Hi viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and welcome to part two of my video diary documenting the progress of painting my two artworks here. Uh, this stage I'll be starting to put on some of my more specific colours relating to each of these paintings. Uh, I thought I would be painting both of these sort of at the same time, but thinking about the colour schemes, they're probably going to have quite different colour schemes, so it's probably going to be a case from here on in that I just focus on one and then on the other rather than doing them at the same time. And as well as that, I probably won't do as much time lapse footage as I did in the first episode because. Uh, as it starts to get more detailed, a lot of my time is spent uh, mi uh, mixing colours, which means the camera is sort of spending a lot of time and wasting a lot of megabytes filming not much of anything at all. So um, I probably won't film the whole process, but I'll try and film bits and pieces here and there so that you can get a general sense of how these works are progressing. So without further ado, Let's get on with it. done in acrylics and when I buy my acrylic paints the only colours I ever buy are these five colours here and these are um, Montmartre um, student colour paints I think they are They're not hugely expensive but they're artist quality and as you can see I just get the primaries got cadmium yellow uh, vermilion red and oh, what do I get? Ultramarine blue and then obviously black and white. It's titanium white and lamp black. 
And for every single painting, I pretty much mix all my colours from that. So you can see that's my palette for today. Don't know how that's showing up on camera, but you can see everything that I've mixed on these two paintings was done on that palette. As from my point of view, there's no real reason to buy any other colours than those, because uh, as you taught in school or art school, you can pretty much mix every colour from the primaries and white and black. Uh, I think the only reason I would ever buy pre-mixed colour that I couldn't mix from a primary is if that was a colour that I used a lot and I didn't want to be continuously mixing it all the time. So. That's it, that's just a bit about my paints. This is sort of getting down some base colours onto my canvases. And this one clearly is mostly all the base colours down, while this one's still got a few to go, as you can see. My primary base coat's still showing through quite a bit there, so... That's what I'll get onto next time. And speaking of next time, until then, we shall see you later. Bye for now.